And this, y'all, is what brought the whole thing on. On Sunday, July 27th, 1919, there was a clash of white people and Negroes at a bathing beach in Chicago, which resulted in the drowning of a Negro boy. This led to a race riot in which 38 lives were lost, 23 Negroes and 15 whites, and 537 persons were injured. After three days of mob violence affecting several sections of the city, the state militia, y'all know who that is, was called out to assist the police in restoring order. Let me repeat that again. So this is what they do. They deputize all the uh, other little Neanderthals when, um, you know, so they become part of part and parcel of crooked police, crooked mobs, and it becomes really the Neanderthals against uh, humanity. Basically, it becomes the Neanderthals against humanity. The, anyway, um, after three days of mob violence affecting several sections of the city, the state militia was called out to assist the police in restoring the order. It was not until August 6th that danger or further clashes was regarded as past. To discuss this serious situation and means of preventing in preventing its reoccurrence, a group of 81 citizens representing 48 social, civic, commercial, and professional organizations of Chicago met on August 1st, 1919, at the Union er, at the Union League Club. Mr. Charles Charles Folds met on August 1st, 1919. I mean, I'm sorry, you guys. Mr. Charles Foles, president of the club, presided. The brief addresses were made by Mr. H. H. Merrick, president of the Chicago Association of Commerce, Dr. Graham Taylor, Ms. Harriet Victim, Major uh, John S. Bonner, Mr. Charles Boyd, the Reverend William Covert. Resolutions were passed and given to the press and the following letter to the governor of Illinois was authorized. Dear sir, a meeting held today at the Union League Club to take up the matter of the uh, present race riots. This meeting was attended by 81 representatives of 48 prominent civic, professional, and commercial Organizations such as Chicago Medical Association, Chicago Bar Association, Federation of Churches, Association of Commerce, Packing House Industries, Urban League, Women's City Club, Chicago Women's Club, Foreign uh, Language Division, representing all foreign-born population, etc. A resolution was adopted unanimously appointing the undersigned as, as a committee to wait upon you. And ask that you appoint you at your earliest convenience an emergency state committee to study the psychological, racial, social, and economic causes and underlying the conditions resulting in the present race riot to make such a recommendations as will tend to prevent the reoccurrence of such conditions ha from happening in the future. The committee would welcome any opportunity to meet you at any time convenient to yourself and to talk over with you and give you such information as has been gathered through these various organizations. Respectfully, the people I just named, Charles Foles, Graham Taylor, William Graves, Harriet E. Victor, Venom. T. Arnold Hill and Felix Scraichi. I mean, 
Scrazements. This is what I said, what? 19... Turn of the century. Early 1900s. Um, what's going on today? Maybe I forgot something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I've always been told that, you know, when you encounter something like this and you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, there's got to be some insanity taking place, right? Because this is some wash, rinse, repeat shit. Wash, rinse, repeat shit. Now they got to... And here's... Go back to the commission. The commissioners... Uh, to have been commissioned to figure out what can we do about race relations? Can we study it? HR 40. Can we study it? If anything, it should just further let you know. That the mining forces rule. Now, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to really go if I get myself in trouble. Um, and as, a, as, as something to really talk about, now that, you know, we go through this period where we want to talk about the bloodiest and the deadliest summers in American history. Try the Chicago race riots. I mean, not saying that, you know, it overshadowed and it was worse as Tulsa. Um, or them dropping a bomb down. <coughs> a black neighborhood. Is it that's nothing for y'all to even think about what they're capable of doing to American citizens. Oh well. Anyway, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next video.